Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to these Survivor Series War Games predictions. We've got so much to go through, so uh, let's get straight to it. The first match is AJ Styles against Finn Balor. I've got no idea why this isn't an elimination match and why we're not getting three on three. Uh, we could have done Gallows, Anderson, AJ versus Finn, Dominic and Damian, but they've not gone that way. They're just having the leaders, if you will, go up against each other. And uh, my feelings here are that I think Finn Balor is going to win. The reason why I say that is because the rumors are that Triple H wants Finn to be a big star in 2023. That is actually going against what the bookmakers think. The bookmakers think that AJ is going to win because he is coming in as a minus 400 favorite. Finn is plus 250. So um, it's kind of close, but they feel quite confident that AJ Styles is going to win. The other reason why I think Finn's going to win is because obviously we're not finished with Edge and Edge and Beth were brutally beaten down by the Judgment Day. So I think Edge is coming back soon. I think Beth is going to come back with him. And surely Beth is going after Rhea Ripley. And I've got to think that Edge is going to go after all of Judgment Day, but certainly Finn Balor. So I think we could get Edge and Beth versus Finn and Rhea Ripley. So if we are heading for that feud, a win here for Finn Balor would make a lot of sense. Next up, we've got Shotzi against Ronda. And this one feels a little bit flat, to be honest. Um, the bookmakers have got Ronda minus 4,000. And they've got Shotzi at plus 850. Uh, so this could have been Ronda versus Bianca if this had been a normal Survivor Series. I'm pleased that it's not SmackDown versus Raw, to be honest. Um, but it is still a shame that this isn't Ronda versus Bianca because I really would have preferred that match, even though the titles wouldn't have changed hands because I just don't think Shotzi's winning this. I don't think she's got a chance. It really feels like we're building towards um, the next feud for Ronda, and uh, I think there's a good chance that could be Becky. Becky and Ronda is sure to be the match at WrestleMania. Apparently, that is the plan. And that feud, I don't know when we're going to start it, but it can't be too far away. Maybe it's going to be around the Royal Rumble time. Maybe Becky wins the Rumble, and then she goes on to face Ronda at WrestleMania. It's hard to know how we quite get there, but I don't feel like this feud is that far away. So um, the point is, I don't think we're going to be taking the belt off Ronda because I think the match at WrestleMania could be for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So uh, that's why I'm thinking Ronda retains here and continues to retain as we head towards WrestleMania. Next up, we've got um, Seth versus Austin Theory versus Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship. Now, what I would say about this is the odd makers have got Seth as favorite, minus 150. I agree with them. Um, I think Monday Night Rollins has been working very well. So I'm going to say that Seth retains. Watch out for a Shield tribute because, of course, this is 10 years after the Shield debuted at Survivor Series 2012. We had Seth dress up in his Shield attire at the Royal Rumble. Could we see him do that again here? Could there be some other tributes? Um, I'm not too sure, but I expect something. Ten years of being on the main roster is significant. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, Bobby, I think, could go on to his feud or go back to his feud with Brock. Because, of course, Brock and Bobby uh, had a big match at Crown Jewel. And it doesn't feel like that's finished. And Austin Theory is going through a big character change. And so I think we're going to continue to do that with him. And he doesn't really need the United States Championship for that. So I'm saying Seth retains. 
Next up, we've got the Women's War Games match. And um, there's a lot to go through here. Uh, the mystery person is expected to be Becky Lynch. Uh, it could also be Candice because we did see Candice getting beaten up by damage control. I think it's probably going to be Becky, though. Reports seem to be suggesting that it's going to be Becky. Lots of stuff to keep an eye out here with because um, I think uh, Sasha is definitely in the running as well. Haven't heard anything to do with her coming back for a long time, actually. But of course, this image does have blue hair and that's got a lot of people speculating. Also, the fact that they're making a big deal out of this mystery person suggests that this person is going to be a big name. But um, as I said, I think it's Becky. It could be Candice, but we're not ruling out Sasha. Alexa, I think, is going to be interesting here because she seems to be connected with Bray. And we've seen a lot of his logos in the background. We don't know if he is targeting her or recruiting her. Uh, he could also be coming after Asuka, of course. And I think that would be very interesting. I would love that swerve. If he is coming after Asuka, looking to recruit Asuka, and he does recruit Asuka, and Asuka then starts attacking Alexa, like that could be awesome. So, um, yeah, every time we've seen the logo, both Alexa and Asuka have been there. I don't know that that's what's going to happen, but that would be cool. Uh, that would be a swerve that I don't know that uh, people would be expecting. But I think we're going to get something with Alexa. It could be that she acts a bit weird and walks away, leaves her team. And uh, obviously there'll be a lot of questions uh, about why she's done that and we'll need answers and maybe we get those answers on Raw or start to get answers on Raw. So, yeah, I definitely feel like something big's going to be happening with Alexa during this match. Um, I also think Io and Asuka will have some sort of moment because every time they've been around each other, they've had a moment. They've obviously got a very rich history together. They've been in a faction together over in Japan. So they know each other very, very well. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I would love Rhea to pin Bianca because I think Rhea versus Bianca on the main roster would be an incredible match. That match deserves to be at WrestleMania. So I would love it if that's what we're building towards. I also think if the mystery person is going to be Becky, then could she uh, manage to go after Bailey and could this actually start a Becky Bailey feud? I sort of feel like Bailey has had a few chances at the title. I don't think she's going to be winning it now. I think Bianca's going to keep it till Mania. So maybe we need something else for uh, Bailey to do. And maybe she could just have a little feud with Becky for a couple of months before Becky moves on to Ronda like we were talking about earlier. So that's something else to keep an eye on. So there's plenty going on in this match. I think Team Bailey are going to win. Um, I think Team Bailey are going to win because I think there's uh, a lot of options. As we said, you know, Rhea could pin Bianca. Maybe Bailey goes after Becky. Like maybe, like, you know, that starts that feud. And maybe it starts that way rather than Becky pinning. Bailey. Um, I just think that damage control really do need the dub. Um, I think that they've taken a lot of L's. They could really do with a dub. And so, um, yeah, I think they get the victory here. And certainly if Alexa is going to turn on her own team or walk away or maybe Asuka turns on Alexa, I think there's there could be a bit of drama within Team Bianca. The odds makers have got uh, Team Bailey at minus 350 favorites to win as well. So, the odds makers uh, think that it's going to go that way. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for a lot happening in this match. Then the final match is the men's war games. And this really feels like Sammy is going to be the weak link. Uh, I think Sammy is potentially going to take the pin in this match. Or he's going to be the reason that uh, the bloodline lose. Um, I think also keep an eye out for him and Kevin Owens. We really could see those two avoiding each other. There's a lot of people thinking that 
Sammy and Kevin are going to join forces eventually and go after the Usos. So uh, we might see that they refuse to fight. And maybe that's another reason why Sammy uh, gets a bit of heat after this. Not only did he cost them, but also he had an opportunity to maybe pin Kevin and he didn't go for it. Or, you know, he could have helped uh, beat up Kevin uh, with a chair or something and he refused to do it. So I think there's going to be a few things that Sammy uh, is uh, accused of letting the bloodline down with after this match. Um, I think Roman could be pinned as well in this match. I don't know that I would book that, but he could be pinned um, because I think that we might see Sheamus versus Roman coming up very soon. So Sheamus could get the pin on Roman and then he could obviously claim to deserve a title match. Kevin Owens could also pin Roman. Uh, he feels like he's relatively close to a title match. Drew obviously got one at Clash at the Castle, so I don't think he will get a pin on Roman. But that's something else to keep an eye on. Um, and so, again, lots of moving parts, but I feel pretty good that uh, Brawling Brutes are going to get the victory here. The Team Sheamus will be victorious over the bloodline. People are going to be asking about The Rock because, of course, lots of rumors about Roman and The Rock at WrestleMania. Um, I don't think we get The Rock here. I think there's going to be so many talking points, so much going on with this show. I feel confident that The Rock is going to be facing Roman at WrestleMania. But as I said, I just don't think that needs to start here. Uh, and then finally, Bray. Everyone's going to ask about Bray. Obviously, we might get the answer on SmackDown. I think if he is on this show, he'll be in a match with LA Knight. If they do give him a talking segment, then I think LA Knight is still going to be involved. Um, obviously, last week there was the big beatdown. I, I can't see there being any segments that don't involve LA Knight. And so I don't think we're going to get any big reveals or uh, new people or new characters or anything like that. Um, I think that we're just building towards this first match, which doesn't feel like it's going to be that far away. But um, yeah, my thoughts with Bray are anything involving Bray will heavily involve LA Knight. And that's it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Really appreciate the support as always. Don't forget, we will be doing the live watch along for SmackDown and the live watch along for Survivor Series. Uh, they are both on the channel, as always. Um, the wrestling streams are still going on, even though there's loads of World Cup streams. We're still all over the wrestling streams. So very much looking forward to a big weekend. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.